and this is probably the most important volume for you to ingest. There's a ton of food here to eat. Lots of technical stuff. We're going to go through every aspect of what I consider to be where movie magic really happens, and that's at mix. So, I mean, the difference between this... You cannot bluff when you hold no cards. And this... You cannot bluff when you hold no cards. It may be subtle, but when you get it into a mix under compression and things like that, it's a big difference. It's like going, I'm over, and then it's actually over. Ever so slightly, it's a little bit better. It's way better to have lots and lots of tracks. We love tracks than it is to have everything burned into one. So it'll take any audio input and resynthesize it, literally, into anything you want to send there. Your brain will retain the memory of what a guitar sounds like, even if you carve out a bunch of its frequencies and layer it over a vocal. But the D7 changed all that. Acting like an EQ, what's great about this is that it, it's not doing anything until the sound crosses the threshold. Single. C1. Renaissance. Pretty different. The theater, keep it dead middle. I mean, unless you're gonna send it around, which again, defend yourself. Nice and crispy. Here's a ribbon. Nice and warm. I just like the condenser, the condom mic. Sounds good to me. What matters is what you need your levels to be at. This. Big jelly in a tin can. Feels much better than this. Big jelly in a tin can. That would be in the rear, probably. And you'll know when you've got the ambience mixed right, when, while you're working on other things, you forget that you have ambiences mixed. 